Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here and in today's video I'm bringing you guys my movie review of the movie Inside Out. And I'm just going to start by saying this is not a children's movie. And we'll talk about that later. And there will be spoilers in this video. Uh, the movie's been out for like a month and so I can understand if it feels like the day after. But you've had plenty of time to see it. I'm not going to spoil everything but there will be some pretty major things that I will talk about later in the video. And so if you don't know what this movie is about, basically this girl Riley is up and moving from her home in the middle of the United States the whole way out to California and her journey and how her different emotions on the inside of her brain uh, react with the outside world. Get it? Inside out? I, I, use the, I use the title name in the video. Anyways, these different events happen throughout the movie and then they create memories and the memories I guess materialize themselves in the movie as these spheres, yellow ones for happy memories, blue ones for sad ones, red for angry, you get the idea. And there are core memories in which Riley bases herself off of, um, you know, friendship, um, family, honesty, things like that. And spoilers, throughout the movie, these memories um, get shaken whenever joy and sadness, somehow they just end up getting sucked up this tube and get sent to this hall wherever they store all the other memories. Um, the older memories, they're like stored in the deep memory. And once joy and happiness leave central, central, center control or whatever it's called, um, basically the brain, <laughs> bad things happen and her core memories are pretty much destroyed because anger, disgust, and fear don't know how to operate um, her mind by themselves. It pretty much mostly takes place inside of Riley's head where joy and sadness are trying to get back to the brain pretty much where they can help control Riley because she's like angry all the time. She's uh, disgusted, afraid, and it's really bad. And along the way, they meet uh, different little characters which kind of look like grapes <laughs> or jelly beans, some of them. I'm not sure if they ever explained what they were, uh, but they also meet Bing Bong, who is her is Riley's imaginary friend from whenever she was a child. And this is a spoiler too. Uh, did anybody else cry? whenever Bing Bong is left in, um, down to be forgotten. And uh, he sacrifice, sacrifices himself because Joy falls down there and they have to get out so Joy can return to the brain. And a uh, long story short, Bing Bong sacrifices himself and he's like, take Riley to the moon for me. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I'm crying over here. And Summer's beside me laughing at me crying. And then I'm laughing and crying at the same time. And my emotions are just completely jacked up because the movie is about emotions in the first place. Um, but yeah, it was very sad. And I'm glad I'm not the only person that cried about it. I've seen some people on the internet that have. No shame. It's okay. But in the end, Joy and Sadness do find their way back up to the brain, mission control, tower control, whatever you want to call it. And everything is happily ever after. And really... This movie has a lot of deep meanings and why I say it's not for kids because this movie I think was made mostly for adults because there are a lot of underlying themes of just life in general and I think the best parts of the movie were where Riley's emotions in her mind were interacting with emotions in other people's minds like you would be in Riley's head and their emotions would be saying this that and the other then you would come out of her head you would look at the see the dad and then you would go into the dad and see his emotions and I think that's where a lot of the movie excelled and I think those are some of the funniest parts of the movie uh, whenever they're sitting at the kitchen table and they're each having their exchange and their different emotions are saying different things I think if they would have made that happen more in the movie it would have been even better uh, but hopefully there's a sequel and there's a more of that um, just interacting with other people and they get spot on the emotions inside of people's heads that it's not even funny but as far as like the deep meanings in the end the in my opinion the movie is basically saying because throughout the movie joy doesn't want sadness to touch these memories because she seems to make them sad and sadness seems to ruin everything they don't want sadness but for riley to experience happiness and healing at the end of the movie she has to be sad and i think it's it was kind of profound because I'm sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, this is a deep movie because sometimes you have to be sad. Sometimes you have to cry to just let things out, to experience inner healing and then eventually more joy. And a, a five-year-old ain't going to understand that when they're watching this movie, but all the adults are sitting there going, oh my goodness, <laughs> like the emotions and this, all the, the meanings. And it's just, wow, this movie is really deep. And just the things that are said in the movie, like Sadness says, you know, I just want to sit in a corner and cry and, you know, watch the world go by and just, it's just like, oh my goodness, like this is depressing. But really, sometimes that's how it is. 
And I, I have to watch the movie again because there's so many deep underlying things that are just true about the human mind and the way that we react and the way our emotions play out. And the whole way on the ride home, I'm just thinking people are in my mind pressing buttons and moving levers and making me think different things. But uh, it was just very interesting. And I would definitely recommend that you go see it. It's the best movie I've seen in years. You know, I, you know, I like my comic book movies. You know, I think they're awesome. But this movie, I think, was better than that because it was different. It was something that we've really never seen before this way. And the best part of it, I think, was that it was pretty much unpredictable. I knew in the end it was going to be a happy ending. But at different points of the movie, I'm like, what in the world's going to happen next? Like, what? <laughs> like, I was, I was surprised at the things that happened. It wasn't like, okay, good guys are going to come, beat the bad guys. Okay, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. I couldn't predict it like that. And I think that's what's part of what made it very good. And so I would recommend that you go see it. Of course, it's for kids. Kids can watch it. It's PG. It's, you know, there's no issues. But I think really they made it more for adults than for kids. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was awesome. And I would definitely recommend you go see it. And so if you've seen Inside Out, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Did you cry? Did you laugh? I laughed, cried, was angry at that stupid Trident commercial um, that they played throughout the movie. And it was just, it really did play on your emotions. And you just felt those different emotions throughout the movie as you're watching. And it was just amazing how you could relate. And I could go on for hours about this, but I'm not going to. And so hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos from me. Make sure you also follow me on all my social links. They're all down in the description below. Leave your thoughts and opinions about Inside Out below as well. Thank you guys again for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.